Holland Express picks you up right from the airport, but just fascinating train. Check out these seats. Is it a bar? Hi friends, we're Tina and Kiefer and here's how we spent our Christmas in Stockholm, Sweden. We just got checked into our hotel. It's quite chilly. It is quite chilly. <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and get out on foot, see the city of Stockholm. Which way? A lot of boat action. Old Town Stockholm and we're trying their mold wine which they call Blek and um, it's really hot and they serve gingerbread yeah, nice. gingerbread and we're in the coolest like oldest little cafe just in the center of the square we're going to use this my Stockholm's most famous Christmas market sits in the picturesque Old Town Square. It has a super cozy vibe and it's a great place to buy gifts and try traditional foods. We're going for the uh, one play round two. Mm. Alright, we had one. We're addicted. Now we got two. Gonna one. Try it out, see if it, if it compares to the other one. Cheers. They all share the recipe. Oh yeah, that tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> they all share the recipe. That's beautiful. I love it. I love like. <laughs> we are here at the world's tallest living, living Christmas tree. How tall did you say it was? I think it's 38 meters. But 38 meters. Oh, good love you. I am six feet tall. Is, she is quite tall. Pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to see around the holiday time. A little edit here is that the Kinevec tree was once the tallest living tree, but no longer is. All right, we're here with Larry. Larry from Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. What are we drinking? Akavit. 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 All right. There you go. Apparently you shoot it you and uh, you don't Just sip it. Okay, Happy cool. holidays, friends. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Thanks for making us special. Bon Natale. Is that what it is? Bon Natale? Good. It's strong, but it is smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're at the Skansen, which is an outdoor open air Swedish museum. It's kind of all inclusive from the Nordic animals to the architecture throughout the ages. So we're gonna go check it out. We are currently in the town district in the Skansen uh, exhibit here. And this is where you see a lot of the old homes as well as the shops. Some of them preserved from like the 1700s it seems. We'd already seen a church and one of the big famous stages here, but let's go. Along with the historical buildings and Nordic animals, the Skansen also has a stage that hosts many famous musicians. They also have a very large Christmas market in the middle of everything. Kiefer's one Christmas wish was to see reindeer, and the Skansen made that come true. You happy? It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, tell them what we learned about the, the owning of reindeers. So the owning of the reindeer is apparently the, only the Sami people from northern Sweden can own them. It's illegal for anyone else. So they're free roamers. Yeah. How many were there? 250,000. That's pretty cool. Quarter of a million wild reindeer in Sweden. The Skansen has a lot of restaurants, but we highly, highly recommend this restaurant with a soup bar. It's located right down by the exit. Stockholm decorates the town so beautifully for Christmas. You can go on a Christmas night walk and then also go see the Christmas displays at their NK department store. 
doing Fika right now, which is what the people in Stockholm call our little coffee break for a pause. So you have pastry in your coffee, and it's very cute. The most cute. Yeah, this looks so good. This is an almond bun. Oh my god. <laughs> They're very moist almond cinnamon bun. That's really good. You'll come across a couple skating rinks in Stockholm, but we went to this one right outside of Old Town in Kungstrad Garden. It was actually free to skate and cost about $6 USD to rent skates for an hour. Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, We're in this cool little bar called the Corner Bar. And it's so tiny. I think only like 15 people fit in here. So we're gonna walk, have to walk in and dance out the ways it yeah. says. So we're celebrating the night before. Oh. <laughs> you can have a you can have a pool of mine. We had a few drinks at the corner bar in Old Town and then we went out to a different island called Soldermom and it was really fun but things shut down a little early because it was Christmas. On Christmas Day we went to the Viking Museum which was really fascinating and packed with history. It was pretty small though so you can get through it pretty quick. The best part was this fun ride at the end. The whole island of Jurgarden is home to most of the museums in Stockholm. Make sure you book your tickets beforehand because we really wanted to go to the Abbey Museum and the Vasa which came highly recommended but they were full. Overall, for us, Stockholm was a really great and fun way to spend Christmas, and we can't wait to see more of Scandinavia. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments if you've been or you plan on going, and we'll see you next time.